Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh right here, back here with a new video, and it is super early right now. It's like 6.37 a.m. on a Sunday, November 1st of 2020. Hope everybody had a happy Halloween. Um, hopefully you guys didn't, uh, um, didn't get snowed out. I know some people, or I know some places did get snowed out. And, um, or hopefully you guys went trick-or-treating. You know, what did you guys do? Passed out candy? Did you guys go to a party? For me, I stayed at home. I'm with my grandparents right now. Uh, we passed out some candy. And uh, uh, to top it off, we were also watching um, Adam Sandler movies. If you guys don't get, if you guys haven't got it so far, I'm a big Adam Sandler guy. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today, on the 1st of November, we got an MLB card discussion for you guys now i think this card is actually pretty cool this is a yogi berra 3d e card it is made by kilogs i think that's how you pronounce your name kilogs are the people behind that the cereal company they make um apple jacks they've made uh frosted flakes and uh, my personal favorite fruit loops and so this is actually a pretty interesting card. Um, I thought it was a pretty cool card. This card, it is from 1991. But um, I thought this was a pretty interesting card to show you guys. Because um, you got one of Yogi Berra. Um smiling and then on this one it looks like he's getting ready to take a net bat he's either taking at bat or he's just practicing so on the back here it says so if, surely not yawn i've been up for at least an hour so yogi was one of the best catchers who ever lived both offensively and defensively a bad ball hitter with a graceful swing and plenty of power he was an extremely dangerous clutch hitter the camera's shaking, I apologize. He was an extremely dangerous clutch hitter in the late innings. Yogi never led the AL in any offensive categories. Yet, he was named the league's MVP three times, 1951, 1954, and 1955. Finished second in the voting in 53 and 56. A hearty testament to his value no one ever played in more World Series. What she was in 14 World Series, while that's a lot, or games, 75, than Yogi in his 19-year Hall of Fame career. Yogi was had the fastest ball, I, fastest bat I ever saw. Said former teammate Hector Lopez. The pitchers were afraid of him because. He'd hit anything they threw him. And there's a picture of Yogi right there. So Yogi, of course, you know, he was a catcher for the Yankees. He was on the team when um, Mickey Mantle was on the team. I, he, he was teammates with Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris, Whitey Ford, who recently passed away. Yogi Berra, uh, he passed away a few years ago. But um, I thought this was a pretty interesting card to show you guys. Um, nothing really too fancy. And uh, I needed a video f oh, for you guys. So, um, and then I think Yogi also managed later on in his career. I think he managed. But uh, another thing about Yogi Ibero that I really like, he said, um, he said probably one of my favorite baseball quotes. He said that, um, so somebody asked him, what would he do if he found a million dollars sitting on the ground? He said that he would... Um, return it to its rightful owner. That's probably what I would do too if I found a million dollars. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh, it'll be the yawn on video, but that's going to do for today. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. A little video to start off your morning. And um, I'm going to. And um, I'll talk to you guys later.